Rebecca here just to quickly run down the extra income that I earned for the month of June 2023. If you're new here, welcome. I'm on a journey to reach financial independence and retire early, so I keep track of all the extra income that I earn every month. And June was a decent month. Uh, we'll just start at the top, as always, with active extra income that I earn. So I did not pick up any extra shifts. So basically my work income was nothing for June. For options and dividends, yes, I am getting back into options, but I don't have any realized income from that yet. I just have some options that are pending for the moment, and I don't really add that in here until I close an option out. The Roth dividends and my taxable dividends, these just come from various Vanguard ETFs that pay out quarterly. So uh, I earned 74.13 in June from the Roth IRA, and from my taxable accounts, I got $52.83 there. The apps that I use are for rebates on purchases that I make every month anyway. And for Ibotta, I earned $3.30 in June. And Fetch Rewards, I got $0.42 cents worth of points. That's how they do their system now. So does coin out for that matter. They used to just uh, tell you exactly how many pennies you earned for every receipt you scanned into the app, but now they've moved to a point system too. So whatever, I did the conversion and I earned 46 cents worth of points from coin out in June. And lastly, upside is what I use when I fill up my car. They also do have some like various restaurants that you can get cash back at if you buy through the app, all of that but um, I just use it for gas for my car mostly, and um, I got $2.12 back there. So grand total for my apps for the month of June, $6.30. It's not much, but I do like to keep track of these things because this is spending that I do anyway. So why not get a little bit of cash back on the stuff you have to buy anyway? Next section here is my side hustle, referrals, affiliates. I earned $69.39 from YouTube. That's what AdSense is. And in order to get a payout from YouTube, you have to meet at least a $100 threshold for them to pay you out. So, so far in 2023 and actually the end of 2022 as well, I um, have been getting paid like every other month that may slow down here even more since I recently took kind of a big break from my YouTube channel, but it is what it is. This is not a full-time job for me. This is not like some side hustle I'm trying to turn into my main hustle. This is just me showing my journey to reach financial independence. And yeah, so I'm grateful for whatever extra income I do earn from this channel. Next after that is my Amazon affiliate links. I always have books on the FIRE movement linked down in the description box below. Those are Amazon affiliate links. So when you click those links and you buy anything on Amazon, that's qualified, they'll give me a little bit of a, a kickback when you use my link. So I didn't get any Amazon affiliate money for June, my channel being so small, um, this is not a huge revenue producer for me, as y'all can see out here to the side in my year to date column. In the whole of 2023 so far, I have earned $7.48 from my Amazon affiliates. So yeah, um, I can see where if you have a channel with like 100,000 subscribers, a million subscribers, this could be a lucrative thing, but um, not really for me with uh, the handful of people that I have here. Ko-Fi is another platform that I use where you can download these Google Sheets for free that I use if you like. And every once in a while, I do get a tip on there from people who download my spreadsheets. So far this year, I've gotten $9.52 from that, but nothing in June. And so the total for my side hustle was just the YouTube income at $69.39. Lastly here are credit cards that I use. I have two main ones. I use my Apple card when I'm traveling because there's no international uh, transaction fees. And Fidelity is my main card that I use when I'm here at home. And uh, I got 3306 back worth of um, money that went straight into the Fidelity investing account for the month of June. So the total here at the bottom, not really all that impressive. It's 235.71 for the month. So yeah, not a very impressive month for y'all, but um, 
overall, I mean, the little bits do add up. That's why I have this year to date column out to the side because so far for the year, I've earned over $3,000 um, worth of extra income. And uh, I have only had one extra shift for the entirety of 2023. So, you know, a lot of this is from all of the other things that I do here, my dividends, these apps, the side hustle, all of that stuff. So this is why I do keep track of every penny here and there. I just find this motivating to see how this adds up throughout the year. I mean, this month was to show how June went, so that's the halfway point of the year. If this pattern keeps up, then I should be looking at around $6,000 of extra income for the year of 2023, and that's almost enough to max out a Roth IRA just by itself. So yeah, I do find this motivating. Um, if you like this spreadsheet, like I mentioned before, you can check the first link, I believe, in my description box down below and it will take you to Ko-Fi where you can download these spreadsheets for free to use. Just note that if you choose to do that, you have to go to file here and then click on make a copy there. That way you can make a copy of this spreadsheet that will allow you to edit it and make it your own as you need. Um, I can't give permission for you to edit because that's asking for you to have permission to edit my spreadsheet. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Not a ton of extra income for the month of June to report to you, but um, it does add up as the year goes on. So let me know how June went for you guys in the comment section down below and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye y'all.